On this week's episode of the Indie Center Podcast, we sit down with a Chicago actor who is no stranger to take on the game banger role, playing the thug in many indie films, but not only that, but he has taken a new role out in life as an activist standing up for diversity in the entertainment field. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is my sit down with Ricky Flores, but before we get into that, a word from our sponsors. If you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the easiest way to make a podcast. Let me explain. Uh, It's free. I could probably end the list right there, but I'm going to continue. There's creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. Anchor will distribute your podcast for you so it can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many more. Speaking from personal experience... Creating a podcast felt so overwhelming. Uh, I I didn't know where to start, uh, but using Anchor was a no-brainer. Their website and app is user-friendly. You're able to navigate through it easily. It's pretty cool, guys. Uh, You can make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. And it's everything you need to make a podcast in one place. A one-stop shop. Download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. This episode of the Indie Center Podcast is brought to you by Spotify, the place where you can listen to your favorite artists and podcasts for free. Did you hear me? You don't even need a premium membership. Spotify has a huge catalog of podcasts on every topic, including the one you're listening to right now. On Spotify, you can follow your favorite podcast so you never miss an episode. Are you subscribed to me yet? Wink, wink. Uh, Premium users can download episodes to listen to offline wherever you are. And that is so convenient. How many times have you found yourself in an airplane or driving down a road with no reception and you just want to escape but can't? You are stuck sitting next to somebody that snores or you're stuck in a meaningless conversation and you just want to listen to podcasts. Well, now you can, guys. And you can easily share what you're listening to with your friends on Instagram. So if you haven't done so already, be sure to download the Spotify app and search for Andy Center Podcast on Spotify or browse podcasts in the Your Library tab. Also, make sure to follow me so you never miss an episode. I'm here with my good friend, Ricky. How you doing, buddy? Good, good, good. Um, so thank you for coming on. The reason why I reached out to you is because not only are you an actor and you've done a lot of indie shit yeah. and uh, uh, a few major episodes, uh, but you've also, as of lately, I consider you to be an activist because you're, you know, you, you made that rally by Cinespace oh, yeah. for, for Latin Rose. Yeah. So I wanted to uh, dig a little bit in because you have tattoos on your face. You yeah. look like a guy that you don't want to fuck with. Yeah. So I, you know, I, I think you have an interesting story. So how did you get into acting? Well, I started. I looked at uh, well, you see the TV. Well, so don't say I saw motherfuckers like me to be like Emilio Rivera. And I remember he did that movie. He had fuck you in his eyebrows. Yeah, yeah. So I'm looking. I go, how does this guy? You know, how's he doing his thing or whatever? You know what I mean? Yeah. And then I see the other one. They had uh, some other suspect entertainment in LA. Mm. It's a bunch of thugs, bro. And I'm like, well, these are real thugs. They could, they could act. So I'm saying, yeah. I'm like. They're bringing the story, the, the, the light stories to TV, so I'm like, man, maybe I could be my shit. Uh-huh. But I was too involved in gang making at that time, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, how long ago was this? Man, it was like, well, it had to be like around 2000 and something, but like 2000. It was still like, you know what I'm saying? I was still out there, you know what I'm saying? I was still okay. out there, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And I reached out to Emilio because he was in, he was a bigot, you know what I'm saying? So I reached out to him, I found out his email, you know, I went online, blah, blah, I found out his email. Back in the day, they didn't have no other Facebook, boo boo, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So I reached out to his email, he reaches out back. And he goes, you know what, I'm interested. How do you, you know, how do you I, do I come that? from the streets, you know, how do you do that? Oh, you know what? You reach out, you take some classes. This is, we chat to some casting companies. That's what I found casting companies. Do, do, do this, this, and that. So I'm like, still in my head. But you know what I'm saying? He gave me some good pointers, you know. So I'm like, you know, he started as an extra. I didn't know what extra was. I thought extra was just a regular actor, you know what I'm saying? He got paid the same. Yeah, so yeah. I'm all like, I saw in the streets or whatever. So it started getting boring, you know what I'm saying? I'm all like, and I seen all these actors, but I started to hate the guy. This motherfucker's doing this shit on TV. The you know Hector, you talking about the Italian? The, the Noel Italian? guy? Yeah. Yeah, Noel. Yeah, yeah so the guy I'm that plays like, Mexican in every yeah, season. Yeah, so I'm all like, thug. yeah, so I'm all like, this motherfucker could do it, you know what I'm saying? I could do it. So then I started uh, looking, uh, let's go to prison, was filming. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? 
let's go to prison. I'm in the computer. I told my cousin, you know what? Let's, let's go to let's go to let's go to let's go to Juliet. So I drive my ass to Juliet and my old ass Lincoln. I get a flat. We still don't make it. So I'm like, man, I make it to the to the to the, to the jail because they were filming in the jail. Uh-huh. So I walk in and my dumb you know, I, I, I'm online thinking I know all kinds of bullshit, right? So I walk in and I'm like. Yeah, uh, I'm here. I'm one of the actors. I didn't make it to the casting in time. And <laughs> <laughs> I some bullshit. You went to uh, prison. They had they had a jail jail. Yeah, and, the sheriff was there. He's yeah. like, hold on. He calls one of the PAs. I have one of your actors here. So he walks up. He goes, yeah, it was uh, he, you know, he was Ryan, bro. He used to work with uh, atmosphere casting, and then he uh, worked with Four Star. Okay. So he walks up and he goes, yeah. And I'm like, yeah, one of the actors, I didn't make it to the casting. He goes, what are you talking about? What casting? <laughs> he goes, uh, all the casting are done already. And I'm like, yeah, we're trying to get into the film, you know, blah, blah, blah. He goes, I don't know what's going on, man. No trip. He gives me a card. We call. What was the card? It was uh for uh Darlene Series, I think. Or whoever Ooh. was whoever was doing uh the casting company, I think it was called Darlene Series. Her name was Darlene. Darlene. Hunt. Yeah, 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 yeah. So uh, I reached out to her, Darlene, I called her yeah. Hunt, something like that. So I reached out to her and I called her, right? Me and my cousin. My cousin is uh half German, half Mexican, big fucking six four dude. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like Miklo, bro. He was white, you know what I'm saying? Light skin. Yeah, yeah. He goes with his bandana, bro. So she's like, oh, I like that look. There wasn't a lot of like us there, you know what I'm saying? She goes, you know what? Take a picture, blah, blah, blah. Names, information. Calls are like, calls of the night. I need you uh, and Juliet at 6 o'clock in the morning. Uh-huh. What the fuck? Are they calling us? Or they use us, they use us for the whole like two weeks. For so, which, for what? For let's go to prison. For let's go to prison? Yes. Yeah, so. so you went so you went to let's go to prison set. Yeah. Not knowing shit for shit. No. And you bullshit <laughs> what, yeah. to the sheriff and said, I am part of the crew. Yeah, one of the actors. I just, I just yeah. missed casting. Yeah, it's some bullshit because you know what so, I'm saying? So, okay. And then a PA comes. Ryan yeah. comes and says, says, I know what like, this like, is. What the hell are you talking about? Yeah. It's like, uh, Gives you a card, card to yeah. Darlene. Yeah, yeah card Darlene. Dar- Dar- uh, and we, then you go over there. Yeah. Takes pictures. Like and then you look. get right back to the set that you lied to get. Yeah, on. the next day. All right, continue. You know what I'm uh-huh. <laughs> so we go, we're doing that. And you are background. Background. Uh-huh. And then she starts doing... um. She starts doing uh, prison break. Okay. So you know what we need those prison break. Is that was that filmed here? Yeah, it was filmed uh, the first season. Yeah, it was okay. filmed uh, where prison. Let's go to prison was in Juliet. Okay. You know how they close that jail or whatever. Yeah, yeah. They call it Statesville or whatever, but it's just Juliet. The Statesville State was still open. Yeah. But Juliet, they call it uh, like haunted Statesville, but it's yeah, uh, Statesville yeah. haunted yeah. house. Yeah. Yeah, but it's but it's uh, it's the Juliet jail. They they open it for like haunting shit or whatever. You know, so you can go take a tour now. It's fun. Yeah. Yeah. So fucking um. She calls me for a uh, prison break. Uh-huh. And then blah, blah. And then I ended up, you know, I go online and go to the casting companies. So I get with some guy named John Kinas. Okay. Uh, he was doing an atmosphere casting. Okay. Like before Four Star and all that. Uh-huh. He had uh, everything, bro. He had uh, he had ER. He had uh, Shameless when, it, when Shameless came. He yeah. had other ones. So he, every time you need a thug, hey, Ricky. I need you. So you were you were the the Chicago Noel. Yeah, yeah. You were you were for, his, the, for, for the background. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So he will call me. Hey, I need you. Blah blah. Then I start doing it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah. I, I start thinking like, how the fuck can I move from being from, just an extra to whatever? So uh, I'm doing. Uh, what were we doing? I don't think it was Empire. I think it was. Uh, so we're doing a show. Oh, APB before okay. APB comes out. Yeah, yeah. So uh, it only lasted like what one, one season? season? Yeah, yeah, it was. A, it was. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Jess hits me up. Jess hits me up and she goes, uh, hey, you know what, we got a part. If you want to upgrade, you know, they're looking for, for somebody like you, uh-huh. for your look. And I'm all like, you know, whatever, fuck it. I send, I send my pictures, whatever. She calls me, goes, hey, you got the part. It's a uh, speaking part, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, what? what? I'm like, for real? You got that off of pictures? Like, you got Yeah, a- for whatever, I send it and boom, you know what I'm yeah. saying? And then uh, it was uh, Jess from Four Star. Okay. So that was when she was really starting. She had, you know, a, like, you know, she had a couple of whatever and then she took over. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So she calls me. She's all like, oh, you know what? I need you. And I knew Jess from before because she was working with uh, Atmosphere. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So she's kind of like, you know, I like she could call me too for the thug scenes. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I need you for this. I did uh, the home and show, Widows. Okay. She calls me. Hey, I need you. You got a couple of friends. Widows. Uh, the with movie? Michelle Rodriguez. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was not that long ago. No, nah, yeah. She you had were called in there? Me. Yeah, I was in it uh, in the Quince Años or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if they cut it or why I haven't seen it. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. So she goes, call me, you know, for background or whatever. And I did her, you know, because she put me on. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do a solid. So she, anytime she calls me, I'll be like, she did an indie show for some kids or whatever, independent yeah, film. She yeah. calls me and I'm like, you I know, I need that. your prisoner. It was, it was not that long ago. Yeah, right? so I go as a prisoner, you know yeah. what I'm saying? I'm like, you know, I'll do it for free because she put me on. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I used to don't pay me, whatever, I'll do it. So I went, I did it, you know what I'm saying? And the other ones, um, after that, I take my son to Hayes. Oh, okay. I take my son to Hayes. Hey, awesome. you know what? She tells me, oh, you know what? He's too young. He was three or four. Ah, uh, but you're you're signed to Haze, right? Yeah. So I was uh, like, you're, man, you're ju- okay. Go ahead. So I look and I'm like, 
I tell him, uh, hey, you know what? Uh, I'll be my son here. I walked in too, like the same for first person. I walk in, but I was looking for, oh, now you can find everything online. Oh, no, yeah. You could fucking network with everybody. I saw network with people in LA, bro. You know what I'm saying? Boom, yeah. boom, boom, boom. I was over here with uh, Melo Manes last week. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. I hit him up, you know what, bro? He went to a little festing, bro. He said, hey, what's up, bro? He's like, he's coming to Chicago in October. Okay. Said, no, I'm going to Chicago, bro. Like, All right, cool. And that's how I met all the artists, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm artists from LA and you know what I'm saying? People from Cassie from LA. Yeah. That's how I got in my ends too. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. So I'm like, all right, you're, whatever. You're in my ends as what? Uh, background. Background. You know what okay. I'm saying? And that, that that was supposed to be a future role where you're going to get a speaking role. You know what I'm saying? Okay. But there was no, you know what I mean? So yeah. I'm over here. You got union. You're union. I'm union right? now. Yeah. So what, but over there, I was in union because you got to get, there's two unions. There's local union and there's national union. So okay. now I got to get the national one to work in LA. Really? Yeah. There's that, two different. I thought it was the same. It's the same thing. SAG. Yeah. But you can pay SAG local, which is less. And you can pay SAG national where you can work anywhere in the United States. LA. Blah blah, blah. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And the route I went to it was uh it was supposed to have an audition for speaking roles, but I'm over here, not over there. God. The other guys from the Stockton crew, yeah, they got their auditions. So I got now see in the show they got the speaking role, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because we were like the Stockton crew. The yeah. new crew they were gonna focus on us because of whatever they killed the guy. Yeah, yeah. So you know what I'm saying? I was like, well, I didn't, you know what I'm saying? How many episodes? Because I, I see you travel back and forth from here in uh, yeah. Cali. Yeah. How many times have you been on the uh, how many yeah, episodes? One time. one time. And the last time I snooze, they were filming uh Lucifer. So uh, I snooze on that. I, I, I couldn't you know say. Yeah, they were filming Lucifer in the city. I yeah. passed by in the night, and I'm all like, they always filming in the late, bro. So I thought it was, it's in the night. Yeah. It's not no big thing. You know what I'm saying? I go in the morning, and the guy's like, oh, there's a Lucifer set. So I start talking to one of the guys. He goes, yeah, man, you know what? You want to? You gotta go through central casting, or you have your agent, blah blah. I'm like, fuck. He just started filming, so I'm like, yeah. I'm like that's next. I'm gonna try to get on that league. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Because Lucifer was from the Canada. Oh, it But was. I guess Netflix okay. picked the most, so now they're in the late. I haven't you know what I'm watched any so, of those Yeah, episodes. they usually were filmed in Canada or something. It's pretty good. When it started on Fox, it was pretty good. Uh-huh. It's like, you know, that boy is shake cocky. Yeah, yeah. Boy. He's a player fucking everybody, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and fuck, you know what I'm saying? He controls people like, what's your deepest thought or what's whatever. Uh-huh. And you tell them the truth, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's, it's all right. It's funny, you know what I'm saying? But it's kind of like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I mean? Like, eh, like it's funny sometimes. Uh-huh. Not funny, you know what I'm saying? But it's all right. So, uh... I'm now I'm trying to get on that. Uh-huh. I don't know how, but I'm gonna get on it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they supposedly just started filming. Go, go to set and just lie. Bro. Yeah, that's I'm what I'm gonna do. I'm the Lucifer's <laughs> assistant. Yeah, I just go in there and be like, yeah, you know what? Woo-woo. But it's crazy because in LA they treat you different. Like you know the extras over here they treat them one way. Uh-huh. Oh, hey, you can do whatever you want. You can go to Crafty and um, eating this shit. You know what I'm saying? Over here, hey, you can't eat. You go sit down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, they boys like even the the actors from Mayans, they went and talked to us, bro. They part of guy. Yeah. And you know what? Thank you for everything. I know you're here. We need you. Blah 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 blah. They had a, like a big speech, bro. It looked like a gang fight. Like uh, all of us are on this side. Yeah. All the actors on the other side. That's funny. And they're telling us, yeah, you know what? Blah blah. And this is and that. Motherfuckers taking pictures. You know what I'm saying? And he's like, they did a trip. You know what I'm saying? They were cool. Like you know what? We need juice. But it's because those guys are humble because they just started. They got a chance that, that yeah. either me or you could get. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. you know what? I, I see this guy. You know, bring him. And that's how Jay Pardo started. All of us started. All those guys used to be in gangs and shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But they changed their lives. Uh, that uh, Coco guy, he's doing a lot of shit over there. He's even, do- he got like a foundation where he's doing, uh, it's something we need over here, bro. Uh-huh. Like uh, classes for people that, like us, that we just starting, or oh, now that we just starting, but that we need the extra push. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's nobody helping us. Like, hey, you know what, Luis? I'm gonna give you a grant to go to school for directing or for whatever you want. Yeah, yeah. And over there, they got all that shit, bro. And what program is this? The program is, uh, it's like it's, it's with homeboys industries. Okay. But it's with uh, which is the shirt you wear. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's, I went to homeboys industry to check it out, bro. It's yeah. like all the programs they got over there for people that come out of jail. It's crazy, bro. They put you to work. They got like the old Starbucks, bro. It's called, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. They got bread and all that shit. They, they put them to work. Like instead of having them in the streets, because there's a lot of homeless people over there, bro. Yeah. They got skid row and all that shit, bro. It's yeah. like a camp, bro. It's like zombies, bro. You go in the night, the motherfuckers are just walking and. Walk, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I've, it looks, I've it seen looks crazy. Walk, man. It's scary. It's scary, but you're in there, and it's like they scare you, scare you, but it's like you just like. Yeah, this could be the future. This could be another city could just do this shit, and we're gonna be like this. Yeah. And it's families, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's, you got the blocks where you got families. You got the blocks where you got the hookers. You got the blocks where you got the crackheads. You got yeah, the blocks yeah. where you got the Mexicans. You got the blocks where you got the Salvadorians. You got the blocks where you got the Cubans. Yeah, and it's yeah. like it's like a label is separated. What? But they all get together. You know what I'm saying? And you, you know, motherfuckers, crackheads or whatever. It's just like, you know what I'm saying? It's crazy because some of the people you look at them is like, like this girls that you look at them like, like could have been a model, but she's all scratching herself yeah. and boom. You see the guys are like. This guy could have, you know what I'm saying? Like, he could have done something. He could have done something with him, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. He could have been an actor, because like, they look, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah,
they got a, a program where they, they got programs for jobs, bro. Just people with jobs. They got like if you, uh, you come out, you have problems with addiction. They got for addiction. If you fall off, they give you a chance. You know what I'm saying? Say so you okay, you know what we give you a chance, bro. Yeah, yeah. You, just, you stay there longer, and you do it again. They got people where they, you go walk in there with kids. We got like a dispensary for diapers. Diapers and shit for babies, bro. People were walking in and like, you know what, thank you, you know, gracias, you know, blah, blah. Yeah. And they'll give them a bag of diapers. What else do you need? This. They got, in the back, they got a, it's like a second hand store, but it's for free. They got oh, wow. suits and all that shit where they help you for your interview. Like, say you, oh, you going to the interview? Hold on, go to the back. They give you a suit and clothes, bro, shoes and everything. What? And you go to the interview, you keep to keep that shit. You know what I'm saying? But there's people that donate, people, a lot of people donate shit, and, you yeah. know what I'm saying? That's what's up. And it's like, what the hell? They got their own Starbucks, like a bakery. They don't have that over here. Chicago. We don't have this shit over here, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? They try to... We need that over here. Bro, we have this over here. And then the th crazy thing is I walked in, and I'm all like... I got tats in my face, bro. This ain't shit. I walked in, and I'm all like... Motherfuckers with the whole face is tatted, bro. Like, yeah. there was a girl, bro. You know what I'm saying? She wasn't ugly. He had a fuck you right here. Fuck you right here. You know what I'm saying? I tatted her face. I'm, wow, I, I, know, I look. Eyes yeah, and I'm like, she, what the hell? Yeah, like, you said, yeah, fuck yeah, yeah. you. And yeah. then she has, some, like, a little finger here, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? What? I was all like, I'll tie it up. And she was working as a clerk right there, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, helping people. Uh, oh, really? Yeah. She was a customer service representative with yeah. a big old fuck you on her We're face? in there, bro, but they, Please it's getting laser more. off. It's getting laser off. Uh-huh. They got a, oh, they got a thing for lasers, bro. Okay. So her tats, you know, they look faded. They laser enough. Yeah, yeah, But they yeah. gave her a customer service, you know what I'm saying? That is <laughs> But it's because you, know, you walk in, <laughs> it's like... a punchline right bro, there. Bro, you walk in and it's like, everybody's tatted, bro. The security, the dude that's the security, tatted the fuck up, bro. Uh -huh. And there's a guy in a wheelchair, bro, I'm saying he probably got shot. He's a fuck customer service, too. And the security guy's face up, is to say fuck off? No, 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 he just got all gang tattoos, you know what I'm saying? They got them three dots or whatever, I guess. Yeah, that yeah. means uh, mafia Murder? or some shit. Three, or three, three dots or no, three, three dots with the line. Okay. I don't know, I guess it's Sureño or some shit. I don't yeah, know, yeah. whatever it means over there. With the line on the bottom with the three dots on top. Yeah. That's something in LA, bro, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So they're there, and you're walking in, but it's like a bunch of gangsters, bro. And he's just, like, the guy that was the tour, I think he was in there for murder. He's talking about he did 25, you know, he came out, a lot of kids used to look up to him. Mel, shit, you know what, well, you this and that, they're trying to be like him. He came out, he goes, I'm not that person. Yeah, yeah, like, well, yeah. I got a second chance, and I, you know what I'm saying? They gave him a job. And they got, uh, on the back, they got people that get their shit laser off. Like, that girl, she was getting her laser, her laser off. So she only had the fuck part, or the you No, part? she had the fuck you, but it was faded oh, already. But okay. like, I looked at her clothes, and she, I'm all like. She worked on one word at a time. No, no, she yeah, had both fuck. of them. It, it, it was like a, fuck you. Cause it, was already, <laughs> it was a quiet one. It was a quiet one, because it was already faded, bro. <laughs> it was like loud, like, fuck you. Don't say it. it was like a, <laughs> it was like fuck a, you. It was, somebody in the library. Fuck yeah, it was like, you. fuck you. Because it was already faded, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, it's not, like, but it's crazy, because it's, it's a good program, bro. Yeah. yeah. We got it over here, it probably changed a lot of different lines, and the violence yeah. over here will be different, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, if I would have had that shit when I was younger, bro, I probably would have been, you know what I'm saying? Something Someone else, you know what I'm saying? Cause they even got lawyers. I mean, you and, are somebody else right now. Yeah, now, yeah. But well, it took you, me a you while, could've, you could've bro. And I got lucky else cause, sooner. Yeah, cause I got lucky cause I could have been in jail or yeah. been dead. You know what I'm saying? I used to get shot out of like there was a time like and I'm dating, bro, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But now it's like I learned my lessons that and you know what happens is like even when I used to get arrested or you know what I'm saying, or, or pulled over, uh -huh. I was out like within a day, you know what I'm saying? My family would be in there like boom, how much? Boom, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I was yeah, in there like, you yeah. know what I mean? They, they put me grab me right away. You know what I'm saying? My mother's sheriff. Oh so, so it was kinda like how the your fuck mom's is, a sheriff? Yeah, my mom's a sheriff, bro. She's like, how the fuck what? is your mom a sheriff? And this is what is in the street. And this is what you do. Yeah, one time I got pulled over with her. She pulled you over? No, I'm driving oh with her in the car. Oh, my God. She, she's in the car with me. You're tweaking me out. Bro, I, she's in the car with me, and I get pulled over by uh, Pulaski and Archer. And uh -huh. I don't know if you know that 8th District's kind of a little, like, a little racist motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? 9th uh -huh. District, well, you already, they already know me, so it was like, whatever. They pulled me over in 8th District. And I seen him. He looks at me. We make eye contact. I, was, I, I don't look away from the cops, bro. I just, you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Whatever. And they stop driving, I'm like, hey, don't look back. Don't look back, motherfucker. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. So I look at him like, you know, I'm with my mom, what the fuck are you gonna do? Sure enough, dude, shh. You know who your son is? I was like, it's my son. Who is he? He's a fucking gangbanger, blah, 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 blah. And I went in the car like, you know what I'm saying? OG like, like whatever. Like, my mom knows who the fuck I am. She knows who her son is. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. She's not happy. She's not proud. She's embarrassed yeah. sometimes. You know what I'm saying? I was embarrassed. But you know what I'm saying? She knows who I was. Yeah. So she's in the car and she's all like, yeah, the racist motherfucker. She's got an accent, bro. She's uh -huh. Mexican, but she, she learned English over here. You know, she did her thing. Yeah, yeah, but she, she has she, an accent. She has a thick accent. Yeah. She goes, you racist motherfuckers. <laughs> Boy, you sound Indian. No, because well, she sounds fucking like that. I can't do her accent, but she's like fucking, she got that like, real thick, bro. Uh -huh, go ahead. And she, when she gets mad, it comes yeah, out more. Yeah, yeah
Hey, no, you know what? Turn on your lights and get the fuck out of here. And I was like, yeah, yeah, you racist, blah, blah. She's good at it with him. One thing about my shit, I always went at it with the cops for me, bro. You know what I'm saying? They'll put me in the corner and she'll, jo- she'll run. Crazy. She'll go out like, what are you doing? You racist. You racist, blah, 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 blah. That's the first car she pulls up. You racist. Oh. Yeah, one time, bro. That was just Puerto Rican cop. Light skin motherfucker, right? Yeah, yeah. They had me in the floor, bro. It's about 10 of us. Uh-huh. Like, this is the floor. She comes out like, you racist, motherfucker, blah, blah. She's like, shit to him. The Puerto Rican <laughs> guy goes, He's all with the gun, lady. <laughs> we didn't have no guns, but he's trying to fuck with my mom. Yeah. He was all with the gun, lady. And I'm all like, <laughs> I'm like, 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 I'm you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. He's just like, I'm Puerto Rican. Dumb motherfucker. Woo, 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 woo. And I said, we're going to lock him up, lady. Because <laughs> I love, bro. And my mom's all like, oh, no, no. man, she really knew what time it was. Picking me up at 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. Oh, run my place. Boom. My so she was there, but no, I put her through shit, but you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Now she sees me. She's a boyfriend. She's all like, okay, as long as you're not in the streets and she just want me to take my tattoos off. But I tell yeah. her, you know what, so I'm going to capitalize on my, on my look. Like, you know, I'll take out my tattoos, you know, later on. But right now, I just want to, you know, get some whatever for my look. Yeah. And then you know, start changing my, so I can get different roles later. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I was saying with uh, what you said about the activist shit. Yeah, yeah. Because you know what I'm saying? It's like the same thing. We don't get a lot of roles. No, we don't. We got Shy, Empire, Southside, um, Chicago PD, uh-huh. Chicago Med, Chicago yeah. Justice, the Netflix shit coming in. Netflix is building another fucking uh, studio in Little Village. Ah. You know that, right? Where? In Little Village, bro. Really? Yeah, they're building another one. A city space is going to build another one in Little Village. Oh, wow. It's already done deal. Like, they're already going to build it. You know what I'm saying? It's not like, yeah. oh, they're planning to build it. No, they're going to, you know what I'm saying? They got the plans and all that shit, bro. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And it's because I'll be all uh, searching, you know what I'm saying? I'll be all uh, like, whatever. Yeah. So then, uh, that's what we're doing the shit in City Space. City Space is all, we don't have nothing to do with it. No, yeah, you do have some, because you got these studios here. Man, I try to drive mm-hmm. through Spinis, uh, Cinespace they to show my wife and my yeah. kids. They shut it down now. No, they, um, yeah, they shut it down. They yeah. built. An yeah. entrance uh, and, and by the bridge and by the street. They took over. They, they leased the block, and how the neighbors are mad because they closed the little shortcuts. But now I they got to go all the way around. Say, yeah, they, because we were doing there. They were talking about it. They're like, Ooh. Uh, and what happened is the center space and the alderman, I guess Scott or whatever his name is. Yeah. They were doing uh, you know, like meetings. Nobody went because nobody knew. So the alderman was like, oh, now you just want to talk about it. Nobody knew about the meetings, you know what I'm saying? So now yeah. people are like, you know what, we weren't there. Yeah, yeah. Oh no, it's too late, everybody already saying shit. But you know how that goes in Chicago, yeah, yeah, yeah. the politics. Well, that dude probably got his little, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So they had the meetings and nobody knew about the meetings, but now everybody's pissed off because now the little neighborhood is going to get taken over. They, they want to get the block now. Yeah. They're going to get to filming the block. That sucks. Man. It's kind of a good thing because the gang's a gang. It's good. You know no, it's good for yeah. Cinespace because they're expanding yeah. it now. They could actually use yeah. those closed off streets and make whatever yeah. set, you know, yeah. outside sets. Yeah. But it sucks for the people of that community because yeah. it is a, it's an inconvenience to them. Yeah, and it's, the taxes are going to go up and all that shit. That's yeah. what I'm saying. So you're in our neighborhoods, bro. You know what I'm saying? The Latino neighborhoods. How come these motherfuckers ain't working there? How come there's no directors in there? How come there's no... Uh, there's a few Latino PAs that can be from LA. Yeah, yeah. But how come they don't got Latino PAs from that neighborhood? How come you know what I'm saying? From whole part, but we got a bunch of talent out here, bro. Yeah. You're doing your thing, you know what I'm saying? These other guys are doing their thing, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. How come they ain't putting you on there, bro? You know what I'm saying? How come they don't say, like... But in LA, they put them on because over there, you know what I'm saying? It's like, nah, these motherfuckers are just marching. You know what I'm saying? Over here, it's like, over here, it's like, you know what? We'll give uh, Enrique this, and you know what? He won't go with these guys. So I'll give Ricky this, and you know, he'll forget about all that. So they throw those little bones instead of us yeah, being like, yeah. you know what? I don't want it, bro. Fuck you. If you're not going to put my boy on, I mean, I don't want to do isn't, no isn't it on Chicago Fire, the port, the Spanish act, uh-huh. the actor? Uh huh. It's not even Spanish. I think he's Italian, right? I, I think it's the one they use, what they were saying, they use, uh, they have a term for it, bro. Just because they're like white and they have a tan, they have a term for them, bro. Like uh, ethnically ambiguous. I think, it's you, I think it was you that told me one time. Remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you know what I'm saying? They're just because because they they're, they're white or whatever, but they make them play like a Mexican yeah, or they make yeah. them play like a Puerto Rican, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just because the way they look. But they're not really. You know what I'm saying? You see, look at the numbers, like that, Steve that's, Johnson. That's, <laughs> you know what I'm that, saying? That, that's the term. And that's what they're using. Ethnically ambiguous. Yeah. Instead of using a real Mexican, a real yeah, Puerto yeah. Rican, a real Cuban, they give you somebody that looks people. like it and. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, the good actor, he's gonna be able to play it. So yeah, yeah. you know what? He's able to play it. Fuck it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's the shit's like, like us, bro, in the gangs, bro. Chicago gangs are different than LA gangs, bro. We don't say essay, we don't say Charlie. These motherfuckers come with the mentality that everybody 
yeah. every gag maker is the same. So now they got some of the actors playing with fucking dicky shirts tied up in the front. We don't, yeah, well, we haven't used that since the 90s, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. We don't do that since the 90s. Yeah, we don't do that since the 90s, bro. Even the they don't do the cholo look, bro. They use it for photo shoots and all that shit. But that's not they, part they, of the Just like those, bro. The only thing they use, they don't use a lot of Jordans. Chucks. They use Chucks or they use Cortez a lot. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? No, they use uh, Vans, yeah, white yeah. Vans, you know. Well, they got different style. They got a little different swag, but it's not the same swag they used to have back in the 90s, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because even us in Chicago were using that look, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I used to have big ass pants, size 50, bro, you know what I mean? But that was in the 90s, but that was the thing we're out there, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it's because we saw that shit on TV and yeah, we saw that shit. We, yeah, you we know what I'm saying? It. So now it's the same yeah. shit. Like, people ain't gonna copy whatever they're looking at, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Like, Chicago PD, they throw us a bone. Chicago PD is kind of like, they throw us a bone here and there. Well, they, well, I mean, it's about cops, so they need yeah. their crooks. But see, but if you go to Chicago streets, bro, you go to Home Park, what do you see out there? You even see a lot of Latino cops, bro. Yeah, yeah. Because we had nicknames for some of the cops. There was a girl we used to cop with Kahanas. Yeah. She was a little, I think she was like Colombian or some shit, bro. But in my neighborhood, there's a bunch of, uh, you know what I'm saying? But the detectives are all white. And those are the guys that dicks, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. I don't know if that's what they're based on, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But in my neighborhood, you go, you see a bunch of Latino cops, bro. You go to Hobo Park, you see a bunch of Latino cops. Yeah, yeah. You go to Pilsen, it's like, you know what I'm saying? Now you go to Bugtown and all that, it changes a little bit. How did you get into the whole activism part? Like standing in front of center space for the you know the rally. How, how did that happen for you? Well, since forever, I don't, I don't like that bullying stuff. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. I noticed the LA, how in LA they want all that raw talent. And yeah. I'm looking like, there's a bunch of me's in LA. Yeah, yeah. How come there can't be a bunch of me's in Chicago? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I started noticing, and I'm like, and I started seeing the Latinos on TV, and I'm like, this dude is not Latino. Yeah. This dude don't represent Chicago. And I started getting mad, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, this ain't Chicago. You know what I mean? These guys in whatever, and I'm looking, and I'm like, you know what? What it is is that they need more, more, uh, what you call it? More Latinos on TV, bro. That's what we're not getting roles. We got, I see Empire, bro, and I know it's based on New York, bro. But even in New York, it's a bunch of Puerto Ricans and Dominicans yeah, over there, bro. So yeah, it's yeah. like, well, where's the Dominicans and the Puerto Ricans in there? You know what I'm saying? Where's the Fat Joe in there, bro? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And over here in Chicago, it's like Chicago PD. I'm like, all right, I see what they're trying to do, bro. I go, in my neighborhood, there's not that many white people. You know what I'm saying? Like, everything they show is white, black, and I'm like. I know Ingo was hot, but Bryan Park was hot, Logan, Logan Square used to be hot, Homer Park used to be hot. I was like, why they don't put it in the real Chicago, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And it's like, hey, you know what I mean? I was like, you know what? And, nobody, and I started telling everybody, hey, you know, I started reaching out to people. Hey, nobody was saying nothing, but I was like, you know what? Fuck that, I got a bunch of people. It was my family and a couple of people, the lady from LA came. Mm-hmm. Just go do it. Boom. You know so mean? everybody in that picture was your family? Most of them, and then some other ones were actors from, uh, there's an actor here. He's a DACA recipient. Okay. So I guess he could work at some stuff and all that lot of stuff. He's like, man, I'm down. I'm down with what you're saying. Let's go. Boom. You know what I'm saying? He went and it was him, another actress. They come on commercials on Univision, bro. They are like plugging on Univision. Yeah, yeah. They come on the Magnum commercials and stuff like that. They're like, they come on a lot of commercials. You know what I'm saying? Dude's a model. So he's like, man, I'm down with you. And he went. You know what I mean? And then yeah. Eli went. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I saw and then, like, yeah, yeah, a couple of the people went. And the people from LA came. You know what I'm saying? And that was the first time you were meeting them, right? Yeah, that was the first time. And they went and, man, you know what I'm saying? I got a, I met a lot of people. Like, I met some lady that does, uh, she was trying to help. They have that uh, for directors and writers. Yeah. They have like a little program, bro. Okay. Where like if it's from 16 to 24, you would charge to send a space and they give you like an internship for the summer or you know did, what I'm saying? Did you do that? I saw a picture that you were in a, well, a course, weren't weren't you? Well, in the course. No, I was with Yelena. She was yeah. from LA. Yeah, yeah. She came from LA too. Like, see, people from LA, I guess in LA is more like LA and New York. They're like more together, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But then I reached out to them in LA and New York and it's like, LA helps you, but you're in LA, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then the lady came from LA and she helped out. She was, you know, oh, you know, this is what we're doing, this is what we're doing. I had one of the actors with Mayans hit me up. Yeah, and then that's, like, you how, you what, that's, that's how you got into Mayans, right? Yeah, he was like, you know what, it's a good job, you know, you're doing over there for the Chicanos and the Latinos, and you know, I like that, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, yeah, you know what, who? Because I knew what I was doing, but I know that, you know what I'm saying, if I do this, I'm going to get blackballed or, you know what I'm saying? I was, I was, yeah. I was thinking about that. The yeah. whole fear is kind of like the Me Too movement, how people yeah. don't want to step up with their story or, yeah. you know, talk about their feelings yeah. because then you won't get to work anymore. Yeah, but he keep doing it, bro. They're gonna have to do something about it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. If I keep doing it, no matter if they block me, it's gonna just get me mad and I'm gonna be out there more. Yeah. Like, oh yeah, boom, boom. They're just gonna show me up and be like, okay, you know what, throw this little bone. Mm-hmm. But, and, and also, what, what I was thinking about is when you talk about throwing bones, yeah. we will jump and get anything, even if yeah. it means us fitting a stereotype. Yeah, we just, you know what I'm saying? Like, if I, I, I'm, I'm all for you, but if yeah. like Chicago PD said, hey, we have this criminal role, yeah. and you fit the description, I'd be like, hey, yeah, where that, do yeah, I sign? Yeah, that, Give yeah, me that check. And they know that. And yeah. They know that, bro, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And they know that. The only thing is, we just gotta show up with, you know what I'm saying, with the rallies and be
why are these guys coming over here? I know there's not he said I know there's not a lot of Latinos in here, yeah. but it doesn't have nothing to do with me. It. it has to do with the you know what I mean? With the production. Yeah, yeah. But it's like you put pressure on them and then he's gonna be like, hey, you know what I mean? mean? You ended up making it on the news, right? Yeah, we came on the news, bro. Uh, wait, what on? On? On the on? Yeah. Well I reached out to a few news, bro. Because back in the day they used to reach out to me. Oh. Back in the day they used to hit me up, but yeah. there was a shooting or a killing in my neighborhood. And I used to have that Telemundo lady call me, bro, text me, hey, where you at? What are you doing? The gang book came out. Hey, what are you doing? Where you at? Let's talk about the gang book. And I'm all like, they should come and interview me, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. They even did an interview me for me from back in the days, you know what I'm saying? I used to have some type of juice, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so she interviewed me. Well, what about kind of juice did you have that like you had to interview? You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. like, I was kind of like, allegedly, you know what I'm saying? So okay, so you had allegations, not yeah, juice. You yeah, had yeah. Allegations, allegations on you. Allegedly. So it wasn't an interview. <laughs> it was allegedly I was a shot caller. You know what I'm saying? I would never admit to it. Got you know what I'm saying? Got <laughs> it. You know what I mean? So I was an allegedly, whatever. <laughs> and she noticed when, I, when she went to the neighborhood, I was like, hey, you who? And she's like, hey, why did they listen to you? I was just old again. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She kind of got it. She goes, can I interview you? I was like, yeah, you're not gonna get in trouble. By who? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So they interviewed me, she called my face and whatever. She's like, oh, so this is that. They were talking about the gang violence with the internet. Yeah. With Snapchat, with Facebook. Yeah. They're like, doing more. And I'm like, yeah, because you know what? The guys that are really out here, we're getting shot at because of the guys that want to hide behind the house. I want a gang member yeah. in the book. Yeah. I'll go to the people's neighborhood and talk about, who oh, we here, you hood. Well, they don't even come out here with us. They're not even out here in the street with us. Yeah. They're at, the, at home, you know what I'm saying? The cheerleaders. Uh -huh. Oh, you know what? You think that's a lot of that, that's where the violence is going up? Like, well, that's that's part of the why the violence is going up. Yeah, you know they're, they're instigating, they're coming at us. Anybody can feel brave behind yeah. keyboards, man. It's so, yeah, so easy to yeah. bust our up the car. So they were, we were getting shot at. One of my friends got shot at because of that. They were uh, they were going to their neighborhoods. Yeah, yeah. Putting up, you know, pictures. We in your hood? What's up? They put it all. I like Takashi Six Nine when he was over here. Yeah, yeah. Well, Takashi Six Nine kind of got it from there. Because yeah, yeah, that's yeah. what they were doing. We're, you know what I'm saying? That's what yeah. um, you go to like the people's able to take pictures. And that's the same shit as Takashi, bro. If they guys get popped off, they're gonna do the same shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Snitch. You so know that, what I'm saying? So that's how you got with Univision. And that's Univision. So, no, I was Telemundo. Telemundo. So when I try okay. to reach out to them, tell them, you know what? I changed, you know, this is what I'm doing now. Yeah. I'm doing all this for the neighborhood, you know, I'm doing this for the. Nobody wanted to come. Yeah. And I even got into it with Aureliano. Like, hey, what's up? Like, you know what I'm saying? Use a, use, if there's a shooting over here, use a come. But if there's no. Um, if there's something good, you just won't come. Yeah. Like, so you know, all you want to do is report bad news. Like Chicago is bad when you yeah. got a lot of things going on in the neighborhood. I mean, but that that's probably that's part of the reason why I stop looking at the news entirely because yeah. they always talk about the bad shit. But they don't talk about the good shit. Always it's yeah. depressing. Yeah. It's like an hour of depression. Yeah. They don't talk about no, like whatever is going on good. They don't talk about it, bro. Yeah. Unless you're famous or something, then all oh, right away they talk about it. Well, but even then, when you're famous, they're all yeah. just trying to bash you and just yeah. ripping you assholes every day. Yeah. That's what I'm telling you. I'm telling you, when it was shooting everything, they hit me up. I was going to trouble with my girl. Why well, is this bitch hitting you up again? Edis. Edis is going to scare me. Why is she hitting you up? And I'm like, I don't know. I guess it happened in the neighborhood. Yeah. So I had to tell her one time. She went to a different name. I'm like, I'm not from the neighborhood. Don't even say my name. I go to some enemies. You know what I'm saying? I'm not oh, from the sorry. alleged neighborhood. Yeah, because remember all the AK shootings or whatever? Uh -huh. AK 47 shootings? Yeah, yeah. They were all around my neighborhood. Okay. So she's all like, oh, there's another shooting. Like, Look, that's not my side. I'm from this or this side. Listen, I'm not the president yeah. anymore. You no, she's telling me, like, you know what it is? And uh, I give a couple interviews or whatever, and then she's all like, uh, when I started telling her, hey, you know, I'm doing this good stuff. Yeah, yeah. I started going, you know, doing little, like, I went to the Puerto Rican plunge. Uh huh. I started doing like, little stuff, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you see, I'm trying to change or whatever. Yeah. No, this is that. Now she's hit me up, you know what I'm saying? And I talk shit to all of them. I talk shit to Hilda. Like, oh, yeah, you just come when it's something bad. Yeah. And that's the only reason they send on the there, because I was talking uh, shit to them. Like, you, you know put them over a guilt trip? Yeah, that's I'm talking shit to them. Like, hey, man, you know what? When I was out there gangbanging, I was out there doing this, the news will be out there. But now I'm trying to do something good using covering up. This is for the Latinos, you know what I'm uh -huh. saying? It's not just for me, it's for Latinos. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Get, get more roles or whatever. That's what's up. Okay. But I was like, I got into uh, Aleriano. Because I told him, hey, you know what? There's going to be a shooting today on 26th Street. We're going to shoot out with the Kings. It's going to be at 5 o'clock. And then I, then I left it. And I go, Isn't it oh, like yeah. a terrorist thing? <laughs> no, no, no. But I told him, oh, you thought it was for real, right? Threat. I bet you were going to hit me up right away. You know, I told him oh Spanish. My God. I bet you were going to hit me up right away and tell me whatever. And then he's all you like, You just oh. risked the case, man. That, that would have been a case <laughs> for you, man. <laughs> no, but I, I put it in the same thing. Ah, I got you. I bet you were interested. You were about to hit me up. Yeah. But no, that's bullshit. You know what I'm saying? I'm hitting you up because we're doing this and that. Oh, yeah. you know what? That's not the right thing to do. And blah, blah, blah. I guess he believed that at first when he was reading it. Yeah. And he felt salty. He's talking to me. You know what? You got to be patient. You got to be this. Your time will come. And I was like, it's not about my time. It's about, you know what I'm saying? They got all these shows. Oh, yeah, and they got all these shows it. coming. And there's no, you know what I mean? So, yeah. 
with, with you know you fighting for better roles because there's like four yeah. stereotypes you know like yeah. game banger and yeah. then um what is it like the latin lover like yeah. if you're a man they over sexualize yeah. everything or the janitor yeah the janitor maids yeah. you yeah, know, you know custodial mean? things and yeah. then what's the other one oh um Poor, like lower class immigrants, yeah. the ones that don't know English, yeah, you know. But you know, well, we were more than that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Latinos are, oh, they see all Latinos, you know what I'm saying? There's all kinds of Latinos now, you know what I'm saying? And then, uh, we come in all shapes and sizes, bro. We're not just dark, we're just not light. We come, you know what I'm saying? All different sizes, we're all big old mix, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got cousins that got color eyes, bro, yeah. light skin. You know what I'm saying? I got cousins with dark as hell. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? There's me, you know what I mean? So, like, my, uh, I was thinking about that too. Like, they're, they're, we, we all come in different size, sizes yeah. and shapes and all that. And I thought about my, my kids because my kids want to get into acting yeah. and all that. So, I'm in the process of doing that. But then I start thinking, right? My middle child, yeah. she's uh, green eyes, yeah. dirty blonde hair. What the, yeah. Weta. Like, she yeah. looks, you know, she looks yeah. Polish. Yeah. And you got my oldest and my youngest. They, they both look Hispanic. So yeah. if they're out in the field, yeah. I'm, I don't want to say it, but I think my middle one has a better chance yeah. on, on landing something, you know, sustainable. Cause she, yeah, because she's lighter or whatever. Because she fits yeah. the, the All-American yeah. you know, thing. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, but that's, they don't realize that we're coming out all different sizes. Yeah. I've been to Cuba, bro, and you got dark motherfuckers. You went to Cuba? Yeah, bro. They, they got dark motherfuckers. That was just legalized. How, the, how did you go to Cuba? When? I went, oh, it was legal before. What? <laughs> you know what I'm yeah, I went to Atlanta and over there, then I went to Cancun. There's ways to go. Really? I just said I was, you know, you part of a religion over there. Wife, oh. Bro, you go, you, like, you can go right now, if you want to make it safe, you go to Cancun. Yeah. And from Cancun, you go over there. And it's like you're stuck in the time, but it's like, bro, it was just... Well, and there's, I mean, they're kind of, they barred themselves from the entire world. Like, yeah, so you, you know. go over there, it's like, you're back in the, like, what the hell? Like, So when you were traveling. over there, did you smoke a Cuban cigar? Yeah, bro. So, you, know, so you know, I had to, I smoked a Cuban cigar, I tried the Puerto Rican rum, not the Puerto Rican rum. Cuban rum, uh -huh. because the rum Bacardi was supposedly from there. Well, that's the story. They was from there first, then the revolution or whatever. Yeah. Then so I, they ended up yeah. leading to I don't know where, and then I think they ended up in Puerto Rico. Okay. So, I mean, but the original was there. So the okay, compared to the original, whatever uh -huh. I think ours is original, but yeah. whatever. Uh, which one's better? The other one, the Puerto Rico one. Oh <laughs> it's yeah. They watered it down, bro. Uh -huh. It tastes. It has a different flavor. You know, they got different flavors, but it's kind of. Like, I think they watered it down a little bit. Like the alcohol is not heavy. Palo Viejo, where's that? Where's that from? Palo Viejo. What is it? I think that's a tequila. Uh, yeah, but it's tequila. It's not from there, bro. It's not from there. Yeah, because over there is only rum. That's all they do is rum. Man, my you know cousin. I mean? Palo uh, Viejo, I think, is the one with the uh, maguey plants. That's tequila, bro. Oh, that's tequila. That's tequila. That's the one with the plants in there. Yeah, where's that from? Palo Viejo, probably Jalisco. Jalisco. It's the, if it's tequila, it has to be from Jalisco. Ah. Uh -huh. If it's, if it's uh, they call mezcal, uh -huh. whatever maguey is oh, not. Oh my God, mezcal. Yeah. I drink that at every single family yeah, event. Yeah, but that's uh, it's the same thing as tequila, but it's uh, somewhere else, bro. They cultivate it somewhere else, so it's, okay. it can be called tequila. So you know, it's some weird shit, but if it's only Jalisco, it's tequila. Okay. But if it's not from Jalisco and it's almost the same shit, which is a little stronger, uh -huh. it's not the kind of mezcal. Dude, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> mezcal um, strong. That will hit you. Well, that's when you feel it like right away. Your eyes oh, just, yeah. like, it's damn. It's just like, just pure gasoline. There's yeah. no enjoyment. Like, like I don't you know just, what you get out of it. It burns you. Like, you know what I'm saying? It burns, it burns your soul. Yeah, like, you but just then you, put it in you. you get the feeling right away, like, whoa. I shouldn't you have done that. Relax, bro. Like, yeah. damn. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, like, every time, like, you know, because I'm Puerto Rican. Yeah. Everybody else around me is Mexican. Yeah. I go to my wife's family's house and you know the, the Mexicanos are they're known yeah, to yeah. drink and to stand their own. Yeah. So I'm like, pour me a shot. You Take a shot of like, uh, a mascal. Yeah. Eat a lime. Come strong, back bro. a few more minutes. Let's go again. Yeah, <laughs> just, nah, that's just strong, bro. Bro. That's what put you on your ass. Bro. It does. It and does. It, it hits you. It's almost like tequila, but tequila is a little bit less, you know what I'm saying? Like it got a better flavor. Yeah, yeah. But it's almost the same thing because they're well, from the same plant. Yeah, I mean, but. But just one stronger than the other one. The other one, uh, mezcal is, uh, you gotta feel it to burn. You feel the burn. And sometimes the patron, you feel it, but it goes down smooth, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, mezcal is, is like, like yeah. something that the Vikings and the Aztecs Yeah, that shit will burn you, bro. That shit like. Before they would commit a sacrifice. Your eyes get watery right away. Like you just hit a blunt or something. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, I'm like, what the hell? So, <laughs> what is your dream role? Like, what, like, when, when you think about. Uh, more more roles coming to the Latin community. Mm -hmm. What role would you see yourself stepping into? Like a CEO or something, you know what I mean? Like something like, you know what I mean? Something, making some type of movement on TV, you know what I mean? Okay. Like where I could put people on. Where I could be like, you know what, let me put these people on, you know what I mean? Where okay. I could be like, help more people. Like, all right, I know where this guy came from. And it's like, you know, have some programs in the neighborhood. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, I want to make it like where I got a, my role would be like, 
I guess like a, not a co-star, but what's the main one? Like a lead role. Lead role? Like a lead role and then whatever, and then I'll be able to help, you know what I mean? Uh-huh. Whatever right there, just donate some part of it. Like, you know what, I'm gonna help for this. Cause there's no help over here, you know what I mean? They could yeah, say all yeah. oh, this, they could say this is, that ceasefire shit was bullshit, you know what I'm saying? And I say it because I was out there, bro. We had people that came from, uh, like Christian people that came and prayed with us and blah, blah. They came and prayed, did their little thing and uh-huh. boom. Then we had the ceasefire, they came over, this is there. And they, they were just like, we were just a show for them. So I, what I want to do is like help them, like really help them. Like, well, you know what? Okay, you fucked up once. Everybody's gonna fuck up. Fucked up once, okay, let's help them again. Okay, this is the last time where you're gonna do this. You're gonna go through the, like, like, kind of like a homeboy's industry. Yeah, yeah. And then just help them out. And, Cause you know what, you mess up, bro, you're gonna keep messing up, bro. They wouldn't have no structure, so you're gonna keep messing up. Yeah, yeah. So it's the same thing. We acting classes. You know what I'm saying? If we had acting classes in the South Side or somewhere close to us, it'd be like, all right, more people go in there. You know what I mean? Yeah. Then we could do our own films. Then we, like, no, we won't need a. Okay, let's see. They throw us a bone. Then we can start doing our own things. Yeah. Like, okay, we know we got direct like classes with directors or whatever. And then later they got a college where they, you know, what I'm saying they give you classes. Like you for the neighborhood or whatever, they give you classes. Like you know, they give you uh, <coughs> like credits. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. <coughs> what is it like the loans or whatever? Yeah. And they could go to a school and you know practice directing and everything. But that's the only way we could start making our own stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I keep hearing this. Uh, okay, we complain about we don't got roles. Then let's start making our own roles. Yeah. Yeah, but exactly. we start making our own roles. Create your own opportunity. Yeah, we create our own opportunities, but we still need that other money that the other guys get. We yeah. don't get that money. You know what I mean? We don't got the capital. We, we don't got the have, capital they yeah. get. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm, I'm, um, I'm going into uh, cannabis, bro. I gotta try and get my license and all that. Oh, here? Yeah, here. That's what's up. And the same thing, bro. You know what I'm saying? I talked to I don't know if you know that Rick Ross. Yeah, the yeah. original one. The original one. Ricky yeah. Freeway. Yeah. He was saying that he met up with some people. The only thing you gotta do is show up. Pay for everything. That's what's up. Pay for everything. Really? Licensing. Investors. Investors pay his licensing. Wow. It's everything, bro. It's a bunch of records. Do this thing. 260, 40. Yeah, how, how did you end up meeting Rick, uh, Rick Ross? I, I went to one of the events, bro, because when I went to LA, I didn't just go for acting. I'm like, you know what? I'm going for acting. And they got the cannabis. The cannabis coming here in January. Yeah, yeah. And I've been watching this since before. Uh-huh. When it turned medical, I was like, you know what? It's going to turn like LA one day. Because uh-huh. we've been hiding from LA a couple years. So I'm watching that shit. And I'm like, you know what? We're gonna, you know what I'm saying? It's going to get like LA. Yeah. So I went to LA and I checked it out. And I'm like, Hell, remember I told you like iPhone stores. Yeah. So that thing's come, them big companies are gonna come to Chicago. But how come we can't get people from Chicago to make our own money in Chicago? Yeah. You know what I mean? Because that money is going to. That's a that's a that's a big money maker. Bro, that's a lot of money right there. Billions. Bro. But you see, the people, the investors, some weddles, the people with money. Yeah, they. Uh, and they're still gonna get even if they put me on and I don't do nothing. They're putting me on, yeah. and I'll be able to help people with the money. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I also be able to, you know what I mean, make my own money, and but they're still gonna get a cut. Yeah. I mean, yeah. It's not like I'm not like. Oh, it's for Latinos by Latinos. Nah, yeah. it's like, but these guys, for Latinos, for Latinos, these guys are still gonna get a kick. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> yeah. it's like, it's not gonna be just Latino, Latino, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But we need that push. Yeah. Like, who's gonna, who's gonna push in the neighborhood? Yeah. Who's gonna push and say, you know what, Luis, here's as much money, I'm gonna put your license, and you just gonna do this. You know, Latinos don't trust nobody. They're gonna oh, no. be like, stick with my, you know what I'm saying? They're yeah, yeah, yeah. Not, that's And these guys, they take the risk. They're risk takers. They'll be like, you know what, fuck it. Because they've done it before and they're getting the money. And there's ways around, my fuckers, Papa Lawyers, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So they're still gonna win regardless. They take that L, you know what I mean? But they're still gonna win regardless. They take it, a, do the taxes, or invest it this much in a lot of stuff. They're still gonna get some of that money back. Yeah, yeah. And we don't know about that, you know, like the companies, uh, the TVs, bro, with the show APB, they lost out. And and I heard uh, networks put out shows they're not gonna make it. Yeah. So they'll take it as an L, you know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. And that money, that they, made it, they, they, they get it back. I mean, they invest the money in the community or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. They get that money back. Of course. And it's like, you know what I'm saying? So sometimes you see shows they're going to make it, shows they're not going to make it, you know what I mean? And it's like, okay, that show's not going to make it. But they don't care, they still put the money out, and boom, whatever, it'll be one season only. Uh-huh. And that'll be the, you know, like ABB, they only did it one season. Yeah, the pilot. It wasn't that bad. Uh-huh. ABB was all right, you know what I mean? It was probably ahead of its time. I never watched it. It was ahead of its time, but it was kind of like, you know what I'm saying? Ahead of its time? It was, it was kind of like, you know, they had, um, what do they call those uh, little cameras that fly? Drones? They had drones. You know, uh, following people and how long ago was this? Hmm? How long ago was this? That was uh, I think like around the same time Chicago PD started. Okay. You know what I mean? So it's kind of like around the same time, but Chicago PD beat them. So you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But they were like, it was all right. It wasn't that bad. Like you know, like you won't get bored. You watch and you're like, but the same thing. They had a lot of Latinos. You know what I mean? Yeah. They had one Latina. Uh, she was Puerto Rican. She was from New York. Natalie something. Uh, What's no, her name? I, Natalie. I, I, she came out in uh, another show. She was alright, you know what I mean? She was, uh, she was from New York, you know what I mean? Her name was Natalie. Yeah, Natalie. And she uh, was like uh, one of the main co-stars? Yeah, she main was like one of the main stars. Natalie, uh, she wasn't from Chicago either. She was from New York. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like the new girl they got in Chicago, she's not from Chicago. She's from LA. The one they took out John Cena for. 
Oh, uh, she's from I, LA. I didn't even, I didn't even know that. Elizabeth place. something. Uh, Natalie Martinez. Yeah, her. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? She was like one of the main stars, and boom, was like she was a Latina. And she's, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And you're like, hey, she's Latina. She's one of the main ones. She was, I think, the main one. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. She was like one of the main ones, and boom. I think in mean? Chicago Meta, isn't it? What? Chicago Meta, there's a Latina. There's a Latina, but yeah. she's not from Chicago. She's, and no. I don't think she's Latina. Is she Latina? I don't know. I don't think she's she Latina. I, Latina? Saw, I saw her a few times in yeah. person, and I thought she Because I know they had a Latino there. At Chicago Fire. Chicago Fire? Chicago Fire. Chicago Meta, no, I'm no, not no. sure. No? no. He was a Latino? Guy, that guy's Italian. What the hell? Yeah, look at the ball guy. The bald guy. Yeah. You see? Uh, my yeah. first time on set, I was going to say hi to him mm. in Spanish because I thought he was yeah. uh, Latino. Yeah. He was in the fire truck reading yeah. his lines. I was like, yeah, I'm not going to talk to him. Yeah. And then I ended up finding out that he's yeah, he's, yeah, he's, he's not a... Uh, yeah. But you see, all the Italians not local. Uh-huh. All the Italians are from Chicago, but they're bigger from LA. Of course. They're bigger from New York, but we got so much talented people here in Chicago, how come they can't use them? Yeah. You know what I mean? And Chicago Joe, is way different. Joe Minoso. That's him? Min- Minosa. Yeah, yeah, that guy. Yeah, he plays the hell? Cruise. Yeah. yeah, that one. That's the one he has a little brother who was in the gang or something? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, that I, I, I thought so. he was Latino. I don't even watch that. Yeah, that was, yeah. It. But you see, like, you go through all that, you, how many Latinos you see, bro? Yeah. Like, they just threw it was a bone with Chicago PD because they, they took John Cena and they threw another Latina. Uh huh. Because they had to, you know what I'm saying? Because he's taking one Latino, I don't know what the circumstances were, why they kicked him out or why he got out. You know what I'm saying? But uh-huh. well, they just put another one in there, like, you know what I mean? And you see, you see the neighborhood, how many Latinos you see in the neighborhood? Yeah. You see a lot of Latinos, bro. Majority. Yeah, when you see the white guys, you're like, oh, my fuck, that's is, the fence. I, my, my block, yeah. I think it's all Latinos. Yeah, my name is my neighbor. Is, yeah, yeah we, you don't even know the names, bro. You don't even know the names of the cops. Like, my, we, we had Chavez, we had, uh, and we used to go at it with them, you know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. They already know who you are. You go at it with them, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. They'll jump on and boom, boom, and then the white guys will come and then the white shirts or whatever. I know this motherfucker, or whatever, you know what I'm saying? They really know, you know each other because you're in the neighborhood, they're patrolling. They got to know who's out there, you know what I mean? Yeah. So you know who's out there. Like, we, we, we knew the names, you know what I mean? It was Chavez, and then we had uh, Salazar. He used to go look for me, you know what I'm saying? We used to do some stupid and be like, hey, where's your amigo pendejo? But he used to wait for me just to grab me. Really? <laughs> yeah, like, your license is suspended. But then he grabbed me a day before. Oh, no, his license is suspended tomorrow. <laughs> so by grab, tomorrow, grab, I, I, grab I grab yeah. They put me over the next day, and I'm all like, and so I started getting tired, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what the hell? He's harassing me. Yeah, yeah. Because they will wait and just, you know what I'm saying? Like, they had my my idea, like, every day, search my name, boom, you know what I mean? Because they just wanted over. to get you. Yeah, they just wanted to get me. One time they took my truck, a Suburban. Uh-huh. They took it. You know what I'm saying? My dumb friend was driving around with no license. I mean, no, no insurance. I went and got the, I had to get the insurance. I had to get the city sticker. But it was a pride thing, bro. It was a piece of shit truck, bro. But it was a pride thing, bro. The next day, I go grab it. I press right next to them. What's up? Uh-huh. But all their faces, but like, Okay, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But they keep pulling me over, but now they pull me over with the sergeant. We're pulling you over because we believe you have a gun in the car. And uh, and I'm looking at him like, bro, the, the, I'll tell him the truck is a gun. <laughs> you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, like, yeah. The guns, we don't need no weapons. Well, we're just searching you, blah, blah, blah. And the white should come, well, yeah, but we didn't have no guns in the car, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Because you can't, like, you drive one of the trucks, you can't have nothing, you can't have drugs, it's gonna take it away. So I made sure nobody had nothing, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. You can't jump in the truck. And you know, I do the rhymers, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So I was like, but they'll grab me all the time. Boom, boom, boom. You know what I mean? It's like, but it was Latinos. It wasn't like, like we had one where it was a tech that kind of Robocop. Yeah. The other guy yeah. was Gus. He was Latino. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? But we didn't have like, see, tantos huevos, like right there, que huevos. You know what I'm saying? Man, the only intelligent, group, like, the only white guys we saw was the feds, bro. You know what I mean? Like, when you saw white guys, like. So you've done a lot of indie films. Which one have did you like the best working on? The OBK one. OBK? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that, that, that one was. I hope that movie gets to see the light of day. Bro. But it, that, it, was, that was it was dope. That one was raw. That one was like, Shout out to uh, Enrique Guzman. Yeah, that one was bro. That one was raw. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That one I really hope they finish it. Like, like I just put it out there, bro. I was bummed when yeah. when uh, when you know everything went down. Yeah. I was upset. But a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? A lot of the oh, actors, yeah. but a lot of little. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We put our time, our days. A lot. You know what I'm I mean, I think at that point it was how many yeah. more days of shooting? I think they only had like. Two more, two, three, more, two, two or three, three more, more days. Yeah, they only had a, a few scenes left. Yeah. They would have killed me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I <laughs> was mean? hoping for that. Man. Yeah, you know what I mean? I wanted to, uh, yeah. I, I, I was going to let you choose. Did you want to yeah. use my shotgun or you want to get yeah. shot with my revolver? Which one? Yeah, you know what I mean? It was like, but that was good. You know what I mean? That was like, I like that I, one. I like the, well, kind of, that kind of took the whole question, but that, yeah. I just like the everybody's, uh, Relationship with each other, you know, it was like all the roles were serious. perfect. You know what I'm saying? Like all the roles fit everybody. Like yeah. all the roles fit everybody. Like everybody, Coco, you know, the guy, whatever gets shot, whatever. They all the even the girl in the car. All the roles were perfect. You yeah. know what I mean? Like everybody was. And they played it well. Yeah, and everybody was like well. that. That was a good one, bro.
down was, you know what I'm saying? I hope it finishes, I hope they finish it, you know what I'm saying? Whatever happened, happened, and just move on, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Well, I on. know possibly it's gonna be reshot. Yeah. Um, I, I, Raul Colon, I think he's taking over. Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah. I really do hope it, it makes Yeah, we were Raul, you know what I'm saying? We did one, two. You did one, two? Which, yeah, one, did, which uh, one were you on? Unanimous. Oh, AA. Yeah. Yes, yes. Unanimous. I like that yeah, one. That yeah. one unanimous. Well, you were, you were, yeah, you looked pretty scary yeah. while you were smiling. Yeah. It was pretty yeah. creepy. <laughs> I yeah. liked it. That was, but that's like, that's how it is, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like people, like, people think that, okay, um, well, we gotta be a killer, you gotta be serious all the time. That's not how it is, bro. You go to the neighborhood, you wouldn't even know who the killer is, you know what I'm saying? A killer, I tell you, the killer, the most killer ones in the neighborhood, bro, they were little kids, bro. Yeah. Little goofy kids, they, they just, you know what I'm saying? They didn't have guidance, bro. Yeah. Just give them a gun, they go do whatever. And these guys were always acting goofy. You could bitch at them, you know what I'm saying? Hey, motherfucker, we'll put their heads down, bro. Yeah. You're like, oh, this guy's a bitch. But nah, these niggas are the ones going and doing the work, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And you know, the older guys, you know, whatever, whatever they did, they did, you know what I'm saying? But the young kids are the ones that are like, the young kids are the ones doing all the mess right now. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm saying. When somebody says, oh, you gotta be all tough, and it's like, hell no, motherfuckers grinning out there, but like, man, you know why they're grinning? Because they don't got away yeah, with a lot of shit. Come to think about it, not only did you grin in yeah. AA, but I think you even grinned or laughed in OBK after, before you, you, like hurt somebody. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm I remember that. I don't want to. Yeah. I, I was trying to pick my words right. I'm like, yeah. I, do I? I'm not gonna say a character. I'm not gonna yeah. say. I'm, no I mean? <laughs> yeah, but that's because you know I'm saying it's true life. Like people say, oh, on TV you gotta be this and that. Yeah, yeah. So you go to real life where you see people there. I'm saying, look at look at the news. You're gonna be like, this goofy motherfucker kill who? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And you see it. You and know they're what always saying? the goofy looking ones. Yeah, right? but you see them and you're like, you got the hard ones. Yeah. Well, even the hard ones you see on smiling. You know what I'm saying? Because they don't got shit to lose, bro. You yeah, can still yeah. smile like, oh, though. <laughs> you caught me. You caught me, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You can smile like, mm, you caught me. Like, yeah. Fuck the ones that are really smiling like, yeah. But then you see the ones crying like, you got to do shit. Yeah, you yeah, see yeah, a cry, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But then you see the ones smiling, you see them when they're like, yeah. With a grin, boy. You see guys that cack out with murders. Yeah, he's. But guns, you see them, you see them on TV, bro. Or, yeah. the, what is it? Uh, sometimes, uh, what is it, mug shots? Yeah. You see them fucking like, like, fuck it, whatever. Those are scary. Yeah. Man. Those are and scary. that's just what fuck is up kill fun. That's the life you just don't kill them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Think the same, so Do you think kids, jail? Bro. You think jail would help them? Jail? Jail probably wake them up a little bit. But see, some of these guys go to jail forever. Wake them up to do it again. No, but see, see, when you go to jail, people think you go to jail. You know what? It's bad and all that. Yeah. But you know what I'm saying? If they go to jail, it's like a lot of people say it's like college. Yeah. You come out worse. But the people I know, they come out. They come out more mellow. Uh -huh. They don't want to go back in there. You know what I'm saying? Of course. Saying? They don't want to go back in. They don't want to go back in jail. I got into it with some guys and. There was a guy who just came out of jail, a small guy, I thought he was gonna beat my ass. So the guy, hey, hey man, chill already. They don't wanna go back. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They don't wanna go back because they're on probation, they're on parole. Yeah. And they go back in there, bro. You know what I'm saying? Last strike. Yeah. And a lot of those, you see a lot of those guys they don't have, I know it's, they don't have dads. They don't have parents, yeah. you know what I'm saying? They're not out there and they're like, they don't have, they don't care, they don't care for life. It's like whatever. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Most of them are like, they don't give a fuck, bro. If they die, well, that's what we sign up for. Yeah. We don't sign up to be like, oh, I'm gonna be a game maker and I'm gonna make it and retire. Yeah. You're gonna sign up because you're gonna die, you're gonna go to jail, or you're gonna get bitches and make money. You know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Most yeah, yeah. of the time it's the other ones, you know what I mean? Yeah. There you got the ones that don't make it, you know what I mean? Like, of my generation, I think only me and another guy, another guy's locked up. You know what I'm saying? Everybody was dead in jail, or, you know what I mean? Yeah. Or, Sad life. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? My generation, it was like, it's put out of, in my gang, out of 20 guys. Yeah. One's in jail, he had just came out, he did 20. He went back in there. From the saying? alleged gang that you were. Yeah, okay. the alleged gang I was in, you know what I'm saying? From the alleged generation. Gotta make sure you say that. Yeah, because you know, like, you grew up with a lot of kids, and it's like. <laughs> my, 20, I mean? Not all. my 20 underdogs. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Just <laughs> confessing. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But it's like, Real you grew up with them. Yeah. And you just go through the same shit, you know what I'm saying? You don't got that at home, you're just chilling, you're in the street all day. Yeah. What are we gonna do? Man, fuck it. You're fighting with guys who don't even know they're going through the same shit you are. Yeah. Just because they live over there and we live over here. Yeah. So it's like, you know what I mean? The whole concept of gangs is so yeah, like, but it's because uh, really? it got out of hand. Look at yeah. Pilsen, you know what I'm saying? If the gangs of Pilsen unite, ain't no way these motherfuckers are gonna come in and take over that shit. You know what I'm saying? It's a beautiful place. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And it's, it's good. It's changing, but it's bad because they, they're kicking out the culture. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? The same thing's gonna they happen in home they're, parks or whatever. Uh, gentrifying. They're gentrifying it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And they, who's getting richer? They're getting richer. Who's making money? They're making money. We're not. Yeah. We're getting kicked out because it's too high. Because we don't invest in the neighborhood. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers don't want to invest in the neighborhood. You know what I mean? Trying to build it down and make brand new condos. Yeah, that's what they're going to do. In Starbucks. Yeah. And it's going to be Pilsen. And all, at the end of the day, you're going to see it and you're going to be like, this is a Mexican neigh
you were supposed to stick together, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. If I said, but now it's like, now it's like, you see the games, it's like, no structure, bro. Yeah, There's nobody like out a, there, you know what I'm saying? Like a street football team? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like, it's like yeah, they're just rumbling, you know what I mean? Yeah. Fighting, shooting each other for no reason no more. Why and they, they could all stand together and make they say, yeah, a huge they say, you know difference. what? Yeah, so you know what? Fuck that. He's in coming out the neighborhood and doing this. We want this. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But the same reason the politicians look at him like, oh, fucking game angers. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The priest, oh, fucking game angers. Yeah. Ah, they ain't bad. These are misguided kids. Yeah. You can grab them. Like the same way they're soldiers for the streets, they're going to be soldiers. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But they don't know how to use them. You know what I'm saying? Like, boy, you could have the goofiest motherfucker. You know how to use them. Yeah. So you know what? We just got the chili. Yeah. Man, but you know what? We went over there. You know, we didn't did it. We went over there and we did this and that. Man, this motherfucker's crazy, but you know what he wouldn't do? You yeah. know what I'm saying? You already got a chili there, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. You use everybody, you know what I'm saying? But these guys push everybody to the side. Like, you know what? It's a fucking game anger. You know what? Fuck him. Oh, he's the worst of the worst. Nah. If you treat people like animals, they're going to act like animals. They're going to act like animals. And that's what they're doing. Pushing and them to the side. Horrible, but now you, like, now you can go help them. Really help them. But now fucking like, oh, uh, hey, is the TV on? Hey, is the cameras on? Hey, yeah, we're right here with this guy. Yeah, we're yeah. going to help you, bro. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. then after the cameras are off, you know what I'm saying? Do's all on his own. Fuck him. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But if you help him for real, you know, okay, you know what? Guys are gonna fuck up, bro. They've been fucking up forever. Yeah. They're gonna fuck up. Chance. But if you're there, like, you know what? I'm gonna help you do this. That dude, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm telling you, when I went to California, bro, one of the majors used to be a game anger, bro. One of the majors from California, I don't know the one right now or the one before, yeah. Monte Mayor, he used to be a game anger, bro. You know what I'm saying? Rick Munoz over here used to be a game anger, bro. He had a gun case when he was younger. Oh, wow. You know what I'm saying? You said, wait, David, he fucked up. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know what I mean? He fucked up, you know what I'm saying? But he was in the game, you know what I'm saying? Cardinals, bro. They don't want to say this shit about Cardinals. Cardinals is out there, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and Pooh can represent his acting. Look at him, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But a lot of them were out there and they just changed, you know what I'm yeah. saying? But they had that chance. They probably had both parents. You know, it's a Cardinals. You know what, boom, you know what I'm saying? All of us didn't have both parents, you know what I'm saying? And I think the whole thing is just leading by example. Like, yeah. like, you, like you said, like everybody in the street, like they're fatherless or yeah. they didn't have a structure. Yeah. Lead by example. Like, I don't know, somehow get with the chiefs and, and yeah. the heads. But or they won't like do that. you allegedly, right? Yeah. You know, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but they won't do that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And you know, try yeah. try to try to form for the top going down because yeah. they'll just follow the leader. Yeah, that's what they do. You know what I mean? Yeah. But they gotta see everybody else doing it. They can't just do it in one because the one is doing it, the other guy's yeah. gonna be like, no, fuck through his lane. Yeah, they saw. And they're gonna be like, the hell? Yeah. But it's not that you're being soft, it's you already went through the shit. You don't want no, them to go through yeah. the shit, you know what I mean? Yeah. You want them to you know what I'm saying be better. Because if they're better, you better. Yeah. Same one of these fuckers the CEO and I don't got a job. Hey boy, uh, what's up? Yeah. yeah, bro. Ooh, you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like it kind of, it kind of, you know, reinforces the whole. Yeah. You want me to tell you who you are? Show me your friends. Yeah. Like, surround yourself yeah. with positive thinkers, yeah. and nothing but positivity will come out yeah. of it. So um, these guys, they don't say they're just out there. It's like, like I try to put a lot of them on acting. Yeah. They don't want. They won't be in the street. And, you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But it's like yeah. it's hard because I mean you're. Yeah. you're you're just throwing them a bone, like you've been yeah. saying. You know, yeah. you gotta, I'm saying like, yeah, you know, lead by example, like get yeah. with them, have them ride with yeah. you, and, you know, show them different life. Yeah. Cause you have kids, you know, you yeah. settle down and. And I don't have kids, and the sad thing is, I see the kids growing up, and it's like without, without them. You know what I'm saying? That could have been my kids yeah. growing up without me. Like, damn, the one, the, the one that got me the most is the moms, bro. Yeah. When you go to the funerals, you hear the moms screaming. Me yeah. But you can't blame the mom. She had to go to work, yeah. bust her ass. You know what I'm saying? And, you rarely see the dads in the funeral. It's a like vicious twice. cycle. It's just yeah, you know, and then the little kids see that. Boom. You know what I mean, yeah. Uh, well, we fucking ended this on a sad note. I'm kind of depressed right now. Thank you. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but before I uh, you know, call it out, did you want to give any special shout outs? No, to so all the Latino actors out there, all the Latino actors. I'm saying, don't give up. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's gonna be a lot of closed doors. I I'm, I know you probably had a lot of closed doors. So I've had a lot of closed doors. You know what I mean? And the same thing, you still, you know, you're still doing yeah. your own thing, like you're doing your own thing now. Yeah, yeah. Know what I mean, and little by little, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So the actors, the same thing, don't give up, you know what I'm saying? Just keep doing it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you, get, you get rejected a lot, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I got rejected a lot. I think you, you get understand? rejected more times than you then are. You get, but then you get that one yeah. that, pops, that makes you pop, and it's like, that's the one you need, you know what I mean? Yeah. You get that one, let's say it's over with, you know what I mean? Yeah. After that, ain't nobody can bring you down but yourself. Because you stop grinding and you're not hungry no more. You know what I'm saying? So you're out there, you're hungry, just keep doing your thing, stay hungry. I mean, no matter if you make it to the top, stay hungry, you'll stay in the top. Well, once you get that chance, it's over. They can't put you down. Because yeah. then the people that pull you down are going to be looking up to you like, hey, what's up? Yeah. Throw me a bone now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And now you're going to be like, and then you could be, you, you get to a position where you could help now. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And that's, the, that's my goal. I want to get to a position where I could help. Like, you know what I mean? I don't just want to be 
I don't want famous. I don't want this. You know what I'm I want to get to a position where I can help other people. Yeah. Other people like me, other people like right us. On. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that's it. You know what I mean? I know how the way I look and everything. People be like, this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't even you, smoke you weed, bro. You do look fucking. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> people are like, oh, this motherfucker smoke. I don't even smoke weed, bro. You know what I'm saying? And I, I want to, <laughs> I, I, I just want to say that we are in the middle of suburbia right now. Yeah. <laughs> in a Starbucks. Yeah. And you look so shiesty right now. <laughs> so shiesty. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> If you enjoyed this week's episode, please make sure you hit that subscribe button to stay centered on all Indie Center podcast episodes. If you are an independent creator and have a story to share and want to have a sit down, please email me at IndieCenter.podcast at gmail.com. That's IndieCenter.podcast at gmail.com. If you have sponsorship inquiries, I'd love to help local businesses. Please email me at IndieCenter.podcast at gmail.com. Until next Monday, guys. Peace.